Yo, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we're going to be going over everything that was dropped on Jackie Robinson Day 415. We're going to be discussing the Jackie Robinson program, the new headliners pack, the new monthly awards program, big dog set pack, okay? Before we take a look at everything though and we discuss and review it, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on, leave a like on the video and in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this drop. Let me know if any of these cards that were just dropped are going to make your lineup. And uh, let me know what, you know, just give me your thoughts and about the first big content drop, okay? Lastly, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow on all three platforms. I would highly appreciate if you did. And also, make sure you go check out my short channel on YouTube, Pitching underscore Rebel Shorts. Go check it out. Show it some love. Hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. I would highly appreciate if you did, okay? All right, let's quit discussing that and let's get into the new... Um, programs that were dropped. All right, so we're gonna be discussing, first we'll be discussing the program. So we're gonna go over here to other programs and uh, we're gonna go into the Jackie Robinson Day program, okay? Now this Jackie Robinson is just a veteran card from 1954 and um, it's not anything special, okay? It's not his 99 overall, so you know, that'll be coming probably later in the year. So it's just the 88 overall card that we're getting, you know, still a high diamond, you know, still pretty good overall diamond for this point of the year, but obviously it's not his 99, but it's only got five stars and it's very easy to complete. All you have to do is get one hit with Jackie Robinson and that's it. That's all you have to do is get one hit and you got all five stars, right? Uh, you're going to get an MLB The Show pack with 500 stubs and uh, you're going to get these diamond socks, these this diamond back grip and the diamond bat skin, also another 500 stubs. You get a thousand stubs as well by just getting one hit. And then you get this Jackie Robinson card, which um, it's an 88 overall. He's got a primary in, uh, I think, primary left fielder. And he also has second base, third base, and right field secondary, so he can play second base as well. Uh, he's got 85 contact versus right, 110 versus left, so very good against lefties. And then pretty good contact versus righties. Um, he's got pair, sorry, power, 53 and 71. So not the greatest power, but you know, against lefties, he has some pop. Um, fielding's at 71, 62, and 73 reaction. So not the greatest fielding. Silver fielder at least uh, with 78 speed. Not the burner Jackie that we're used to, that 99 speed that we're used to. But, you know, he's still got some decent wheels at 78. And you know he can get up higher through the parallel program. Again, it's just a little program with only five stars, only one moment to get you this Jackie Robinson to celebrate 75th anniversary of Jackie Robinson Day. So that's pretty neat, you know. Again, you get a pack, so you never know. You may be able to get a pool Mike Trout. Who knows? So it's always a good finish this program. It takes it should take you less than five minutes. It's just one hit. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the April monthly awards. So this was a little bit revamped. There's different stages to it now. There's uh, stage one, stage two, and stage three. They're gonna be adding to it, and then stage three is the final stage, which is gonna have the MA the monthly award cards along with you know the lightning card the lightning card for April, and they said that was gonna come out on May 6th, on the Friday. Again, that's May 6th, okay? Uh, so right now we can only do stage one, um, and uh, you're gonna need these Tops Now cards in order to go advance to stage two, okay? Um, there's five Tops Now cards, which you can get by just doing the moments and stuff like that, okay? Um, you got this Jeremy Pena card as a shortstop. You can play second base, third base, not bad at all. 92 contact versus right, 75 versus left. 73 power versus right, 54 versus left again. Not a bad card at all. Also has gold, sorry, we're backing out. Also has gold fielding at 84. And uh, 78 arm, 87 reaction, 79 speed. Pretty good card uh, for 84 gold for sure. Um, then you also have Joey Bart, who obviously hits his uh, first home run of the, uh, his first career home run on opening day. Um, he's a catcher with good, good, you know, good contact and power. Decent defense too. Got gold defense. So 81, 78, and then 88, 74 for the power. Uh, 80 fielding. Got that gold defense. 82 arm and uh, 84 reaction. His blocking's a little weak with a 63, but not a bad gold card at all either. And you got. Hunter Green, who got his first MLB win in his first career start. Uh, he's got 88 stamina, 88 hit per nine, 78 K per nine, 56 walk per nine, 70 control, 99 velo, 89 break. He throws a four seam slider, change of curveball. And unfortunately, they did not give him outlier. Don't know why, but you know, they did it. So it is what it is. Um, then you got Steven Kwan, the next Ted Williams. That's what he's gonna be, no, I'm just kidding. 
But this dude has an amazing eye. He does not, he doesn't even swing and miss, let alone strike out. Um, he went five for five, um, you know, in the game of the Guardians won 17 to three. Uh, he's got 104 contact versus right, 100 versus left, 56 power versus right, 51 versus left. Uh, primaries left field with center field and right field secondaries. Got that 77 fielding with 56 speed, so he's not a burner by any means, but he gets the gold defense at parallel three. Um, you know, low power, but high, very high contact, very high contact. Um, so that's a nice little card right there. And then lastly, you got Seth Beer who hit that walk-off home run on Beer Day. And he's got 80 contact versus right, 95 power versus right with 76 contact versus left, 73 power versus left. He's very good against uh, righties, can definitely be a bench bat for righties for you. Um, it's a nice little free card, as long as you grind, of course. And he's got 68 fielding, 70 arm, and uh, 38 speed. Not the best of fielding or speed, but you know, like I said, very good card uh, that you can use off the bench for sure. And then those are the five top style cards that came out for this uh, for this content drop, excuse me. And then you're gonna go, you know, down here, you're gonna go over to week one moments. There's some moments you can do, big moments or whatnot. And uh, there, so there's eight moments that you can do for the week one moments, which will give you 16 total uh, stars. And then lastly, you can go over here and you need to see how it says required collection. You need to have these top sound players that just dropped today. You need to be able to, you need to collect them in order to advance to stage two. Without them, you cannot get to stage two. Right now, there's only five, and you're gonna have to collect 17 of them. So at some point, there's gonna be 17. Tops now cards that you're gonna need to collect to be able to advance to stage two. Without that, you are not getting to stage two, okay? So again, you can sell these. Uh, these top now cards can be sold and you can buy them off the market, but remember, you're gonna need them anyway. So think about, think about it before you decide to sell them. You got one pack to start with, two packs. You got some stubs here, another pack over here. So this program is a lot longer than before, right? There used to be only 100 stars in the program. And now to finish, you need 195 stars, which is, the, it looks like there's a, well, yeah, 195 stars. That's probably, at 195, it's probably gonna be the April Lightning player, uh, live series player, I should say. Because this year, they decided to go with retro Lightning players as well. And we got Andre Dawson, who is a returning legend, okay? He was in the game from LB16, maybe even 15 if I'm not, he, yeah, he was on LB15 all the way through LB20. And then last year, I guess they lost his rights, didn't bring him back in 21, but now he's back for LB The Show 22. And uh, he's got he's getting a lightning card for his 1986 April, where he hit 333 with six bomb, eight RBI, and was second in slugging, and uh, had an OPS of 1092, which was probably second as well. Um, in the league that year. So nice little card here, you know, 91 overall, um, not a bad card at all. And you can get them by just grinding, free 99. Just grind out the program, you can get them. Definitely would be a good addition for somebody that's doing no money spent or you know, you, you're lower on the stub end. This is a good card to have. So this is very nice that they brought back, this opens up a whole new a whole new possibility for content, right? Bringing back retro months, or months, bring back, bringing back months for legends is a huge thing, okay? Making them lightning cards now, that is huge. You just opens up so many possibilities. I absolutely love this that they implemented. It's absolutely great. So yeah, this is the monthly awards program. You cannot, I don't think you can get to stage two you just, or you, you cannot get to stage two just yet because again, you need 17 of these cards to collect. You're gonna have to wait until they, you know, periodically drop more tops now cards, okay? Um, and again, the monthly awards program, you're not gonna be able to finish it until May 6th, which that's when they drop the monthly awards for April and along with the lightning card. But you can definitely start it off now, start it right away, Get as far as you can and uh, you know, just get going with it because you don't wanna wait till the last minute and procrastinate it till the last minute when they drop everything for the program you can finish and then you have to start from square one. There's no reason to when you can start, you know, a little bit further down the road, right? So that's the two programs that they dropped today. Now we're gonna talk about the packs that they dropped today, okay? Uh, we're gonna go to buy packs so we can see it. We'll talk about the headliner first. This is headliner set five. And uh, they in the set five, they drop an Eric Davis breakout card from 1986. And uh, he's got 62 contact versus right, 94 contact versus left, 82 power versus right, and 99 power versus left. Um, Eric Davis plays center field primary with left field and right field secondaries. And then he's got 72 fielding, 
86 arm, 83 reaction with 95 speed. So he doesn't have gold defense, but he has elite speed. Uh, 95 is elite speed. Once he gets to parallel uh, four, I'm sorry, he gets a 99 speed. So he should be able to track a lot of baseballs down in center field for you. Um, he's very, very good versus lefties, 94, 99. A little bit weaker on the righties, still got good power, but the contact is only at 62. So, you know, tread lightly. Obviously this card is not a bad card, but you know, it's not a card maybe you want to spend a lot of stubs on, especially for this part of the year, because you can't get other cards, like those face of the franchise cards, you can grind that out. And those cards are probably better than this card right now. So just saying, it's gonna be a card that you're gonna need later on for the collections, the la the Legends and Fla the Legends and Flashbacks collections. So it is a card that you do want to get, but you know, that's more further down the road. All right, and then now we'll talk about the big dog set number three. And uh, there's a couple of cards that were added. We'll go through each one. We got the Cy Young David Price from 2012. And this card looks really, really good. This is a card that I'm definitely going to debut and definitely maybe having the rotation for a little bit, okay? Uh, he's got 106 stamina. 87 hit per nine, 90 K per nine, 79 walks per nine, 85 control, 99 velocity, 95 break. And he has a very good pitch repertoire. He's got the two meta pitches, sinker cutter, okay? A four seamer, a circle change, and a knuckle curve. The only thing that I don't like is that he doesn't have a slur or a slider. I wish that was the fifth pitch he had, but the sinker cutter with the fastball being pretty hard as well, that's a good combo right there, okay? Uh, that being said, it looks like he has pretty decent control as well. Um, Sinker comes in pretty fast too at 95 and the four seems at 97 with the cutter at 91. I like that range for those pitches. He's got pitch control. He's got 93 on the sinker, 83 on the cutter, 93 on the four seam, circle change at 80 and nub curves at 78. So a lot of his pitches have good control, especially the four seam cutter and sinker. Lastly, he got pitch break. He's got 95 on the sinker. That is elite. Love the fact he has a 95 break on a sinker. His cutter's at 86 break. That's also very good for a cutter. Four seamers at 76, circle change at 81, and the nut curve's got 94 break. So overall, for this part of the year, David Price is definitely looking like a car that could be top five and something that I'm gonna be having in my rotation. We gotta debut him to see more, but just by looking at the card, he definitely looks like somebody that I want to have in my rotation. Next, we'll look at this breakout, Kristen Yelich. So this is from his 2018 season when he won the MVP and he went absolutely berserk in the second half that year to win the MVP. Um, he, had, he finished off with a great year. He's got 95 contact versus right, 102 contact versus left, 90 power versus right, and 84 power versus left. Very, very well balanced card. Actually a card that has reverse splits with the contact. Um, a little bit less power versus lefties than righties, but still has very good power, okay? Um, he's a primary left fielder with center field and right field secondaries. Uh, he's only got 73 fielding though, 67 arm and 73 reaction. So that's a little bit on the low end. Um, he doesn't get gold fielding either if you get him to parallel five, uh, but at least he has 76 speed which is pretty good speed and he can get up to 81 speed at parallel five and the contact and power that's really it gets really good at parallel five 100 contact versus right 107 versus left 95 power versus right and 89 versus left at parallel five again really really good card and Yelich always has one of the better one of the best swings in the game just a card that I'm definitely going to debut but honestly I don't know if you can make my outfield just because I have Trout, Clemente and Soto in the outfield and I absolutely love all I, I really love those cards, but he's definitely going to get a debut and you never know what happens in those debuts. He may wow me enough to the point where I decide to go with him. So um, absolutely love this card for Christian Yelich this early in the year, this breakout card. It is definitely a card that will uh, be in a lot of people's lineups for sure. Next, we're going to talk about Gabriel Moreno and he's a prospect for the Jays catcher with a third base second. Um, he's got 86 contact versus right, 94 versus left. And then his power is kind of low, 70 power versus right and 65 versus left. Again, a little bit low on the power, but he's got very, very good contact. Um, 77 fielding, 86 arm, 82 block, and 74 reaction with 62 speed. The speed is actually really good for a catcher. Um, the, the defense does get up to gold defense at parallel three, and he's got a pretty good arm behind the plate, especially once you get him up to parallel five. He has over 90 arm and the blocking is also good. So this card is actually not a bad card, especially for a catcher. It's a pretty damn good card. Then we'll talk about Nelson Cruz. Um, Nelson Cruz is part of the uh, base round. The three cards I mentioned first were the rare rounds. Um, Nelson Cruz breakout from 2010. He's got 91 contact with 85 power versus right. And then against left, he's got 99 contact and 60 power, which is kind of weird. Because whenever I think of a Nelson Cruz card, he's always got high contact, high power against lefties. 
This one has the high contact versus lefties, but doesn't have the power he usually does. So that's always kind of weird to me, or that's weird for me to see because like I said, whenever I think about Nelson Cruz cards, high contact lefty, high power, good lefty, a uh, good bat off the bench versus lefties. That's what I always think about. But that's not the case with this card. Uh, 66 fielding, 93 arm, 68 reaction, 57 speed. Nelson Cruz has never been a good defender, so um, tread lightly when you put him in the outfield, that's for damn sure. Then we got O'Neal Cruz. This guy is one of my favorite prospects in the MLB right now. He's a six foot seven shortstop that can also play third, left center field, and right field. And he's a left-handed hitter who has 80 contact versus right, 67 contact versus left with 91 power versus right and 85 power versus left. Um, this guy I think is going to be an absolute beast and I'm very disappointed in the Pirates for not letting him start the year as their starting shortstop because that's where he should have been. But you know what, it is what it is. We'll get to see him at some point here in 2022. We saw him at the end of 2021 and he just, he showed out. Um, again, uh, this is one of my favorite prospects. He's got 72 fielding, um, so silver defense at short, 90 arm, with 73 reaction, he's got an absolute cannon. And he also has 78 speed, which is very good, being the fact he's six foot seven, uh, gets up to 83 speed at parallel five. This is a guy, like I said, that's one of my favorite prospects. And honestly, they SDS better drop a Future Stars card for him as a 99, because he's going to be disgusting. And I can't wait to see it. Hopefully they do drop it, I don't see why they wouldn't. Now we got a Lefty Grove. And this is actually a first time I've ever seen this. Lefty Grove is usually a starting pitcher, but this is actually a closing pitcher, okay? Um, he's, he, it was from his 1929 postseason. He was actually put into the bullpen. And uh, he's got 52 stamina though. So that is one of the highest stamina I've ever seen for a reliever. Uh, he's got 89 hit per nine, 100 K per nine, 76 walk per nine, 77 control, and he's got 97 velocity and 85 break, okay? Um, lefty Grove, he's got a four seam curveball slider changeup, so, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. He throws pretty hard, but, they, but this card does not have outlier, okay? Usually his starting pitcher one that's a 99 overall does have outlier. This one does not have outlier, but he still should be throwing, you know, 98 to 100 and bumping 101 so he's got you know good velocity on his pitches that being said also the hit per nine at 89 that's one of the better hit per nines right now especially for a lefty reliever so lefty grove you know it's somebody that i might think about throwing in my bullpen we'll see right now i only have chapman and uh billy wagner maybe i want to add a third lefty and i'll definitely consider mr lefty grove so nice card to see i like it Brock, then we got a breakout Brian Roberts, and he's a switch hitting second baseman, doesn't play any other second, doesn't play anything else but second base. He's got 100 contact versus right, and uh, 71 contact versus left, with 58 power versus right, and 52 versus left. 87 vision, he's got 82 fielding, so gold fielding off rip, 74 arm, 86 reaction, and 90 speed. He is a speedster. High contact versus righties, okay contact versus lefties, and then a little bit lower uh, power, but I know Brian Roberts has a pretty nice swing. Uh, not a bad second baseman to have at this point of the year for sure. And then last but not least, we got another catching prospect and this guy is for the Mets now, Francisco Alvarez. Um, and he looks pretty good. He's got he's got really nice pop for a catcher. He's got 70 contact versus right with 90 contact versus left and then 79 power versus right and 93 power versus left. He is a right-handed hitter so he is better against lefties but you know, against righties, he still has numbers that can hold their own. He's also got 77 fielding, 82 arm, and 74 block with 70 reaction with 49 speed. Uh, not as fast as Moreno, but another guy that has gold, that will get gold defense at parallel three. He's got a decent arm as well at 82, gets up to 87 at parallel five. Um, he's got that 74 block that gets up to almost 80 at parallel five. Again, nice little card right here. Definitely for a base round, it's a nice little card. To have for sure and again another card that you know you're gonna need eventually when you got those the legends and flashbacks uh collections start coming out okay so that is all of the content that was dropped today huge content drop they had their first live stream with the push the button stream for and will be the show 22 and it was a good one um i'm very excited to use a couple of these cards for sure we're going to be debuting yelich um david price o'neill cruz so very excited to use some of these cards again. Um, you can, just to wrap it up, Jackie Robinson, all you have to do is get one hit and you finish that program. And then for the monthly awards program, you cannot um, finish, you can't even get to stage two right now, okay? But it is always good to start now because it is early. You do not want to procrastinate and wait until May 6th when the full program drops, okay? So that is 
Um, everything that was dropped today, a summary and a review of it, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on. Leave a like on the video and in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if you liked it, if you liked my breakdown about the new content that was dropping. Let me know if you wanna see more, okay? Let me know what else you would like to see in the channel besides gameplay, okay? Um, it would, I would highly appreciate your feedback, all right? So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow through platform. I would highly appreciate if you did. And also make sure you go check out my shorts channel on YouTube. Pitching underscore Rebel Shorts. Go check it out. Hit the subscribe button. It is completely free, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.